cut a bit of hand quilting thread about 12 inches long and I've got both ends, I don't know if you can see that, both ends in my fingers, in between my fingers. Let me scoot that down just a bit. I'm going to thread that needle with both ends like so. So now I have both ends there and then I have a loop that's hanging. So now and what I'm going to do let me is knot this. And I actually, sometimes I tie it in a knot, a square knot, or sometimes I take both of them and then I pull it so the knot is at the base. I don't know if you can see that, the knot is actually at the base, right there. Then I'm going to take my needle that's threaded with the two ends through it, and I'm going to go as close as I possibly can or directly inside that same hole and I'm going to go maybe about an inch, three quarters of an inch away. I'm going to pull that thread through. So now I'm left with a loop. I'm going to take that loop. And this is this. It's it's simple how you do it. But I just take the loop, put my fingers through, and pull the thread through. So there you have it. And then when I pulled the thread, it actually just pulls the whole thing through. thread tail buried and all I have to do is cut this close to the stitch the, the fabric top. Thread tail is buried. You don't even notice it's there. And the little poking hole from the needle, you don't notice that's there either and the thread is buried quite nicely. And this one, because I didn't tie off my threads at the end, I don't know if you can see that, there's a gap. So this one, I'm going to have to actually tie it in a square knot. So let's do that. So that's it. I'm going to get my trusty needle. And I'm going to go in same hole that all those threads came out of. Travel a bit, three quarters of an inch, inch away, and I'm going to pull the needle out. And see how there is the, the ends of the thread, and there is the loop. Here is the loop. So I'm going to take the loop, and I usually just put my fingers through like that to grab the thread tails and pull it through the loop. Then continue pulling the needle through and it grabs that thread tail quite nicely, I may say. And you're left with nothing there and a thread tail that I get to cut away close to the stitch. And I, as I say, I pull a bit taut so that I don't have any residue thread showing. And it was as if I was never there. Love this method. Thank you, Robbie Joy. Hope you use it on your quilts. It is fun. You don't have to do continuous line like me anymore.